If you… how many of you have been to place like, places like Kumbh Mail and things like that? You been to Kumbh Mela? The big one that happened in Allahabad, have you been to that? Hundred and… after hundred and forty-four years, it comes. If you go and see there, you must go, you will see India, okay? An India of another dimension, which today the educated population in the country are completely missing. It's incredible, incredible, I'm telling you. People are putting their last penny and traveling from somewhere just to be there for two days and go. I'm saying it's that level of people where hundred rupees would mean like what a million would mean to you, that's how much a hundred rupees will mean. That kind of people putting everything that they have, they come with their families just to be there because somebody has told them on that day if you take a dip you will attain mukti. Not that you'll see God, not that God will come and give you a heap of gold, you will attain mukti. Still eight hundred million people in this country are actively seeking liberation, knowingly or unknowingly. It's an incredible thing, nowhere else on the planet there is such a phenomena happening that there are human beings longing to go beyond their present level of existence consciously. Nowhere else such a thing has happened. When Mark Twain visited India, he spent uh, two and a half to three months in India. Th there's a book about his travels. Along the equator, he traveled around the world. So, uh, he said, anything that can ever be done, either by man or God has been done in this land. This is one of the best compliments India has ever received. And that is so. In terms of understanding the mechanics of how a human being is made and what we can do about this, nowhere else has anybody looked at it with the profoundness that it has been looked at it in this culture, nowhere else. I'm not saying this being biased that I'm born in India so I have to boo-boo-boo.